done is, is every time I went to make this video I screwed up <laughs> my camera came unplugged or I didn't have the audio on or it wasn't pointing in the right way or something there was something that happened every time but I got a little bit of video each time and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take them all together and I'm gonna make a little video out of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to prepare kratom the best way to prepare it as leaf instead of buying it as powder if you want to use it sometime to subsidize that intake into your body because um, it's, it's rough taking all that powder in all the time now this is it's a so much better to have this gigantic tea bag I'm fixing to show you here right here this is so much better than having to dump it in there and then strain it all out because all I do is pull this out and pour it out and I'm done and uh, of course then what I did was I what you saw me add in there was where I um, boiled um, bad choice of words where I steeped um, this first 40 grams um, a second time and uh, instead of just using it I just added it into there of course when I steeped it again I didn't use as much water either um, it probably had a little bit of kick in it, but I'm sure I'll appreciate it better adding it, adding it to this uh, to this batch. And uh, I need to hurry up before it gets too hot. Okay. Now. take this and because I got it I have to soak it so it'll sink and then also too and I've got my um, I've got my little magic trick I'm gonna show you this is just so I can get to it later quick quickly So we got that there. Now, what I'm going to do is I take this right here and a rubber band. Probably should have tied that off. You know, it's all wet. I tied it there. But anyhow, I'll keep the place on. But I'll take this and I put it on here like so. Now you don't want it to touch the bottom because of course you don't want to scorch, you know, have it have your leaves directly on uh, on the bottom. But anyhow, I'll put that rubber band on there and I can move it backwards or forwards for how much tension I want. And, uh, but the main idea is we want to make sure this bag stays down here. Now I'm going to get the temperature up as close as, close as to 200 as we can. Um, without you know breaking into a big a big badass boil or something but um, we don't want it to um, break out in a vigorous boil type thing but anyhow we're going to do that I'm going to get it up to temperature and then I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes and check in on it every now and then maybe turn the bag match it some and uh, etc <clears throat> and when we're through with this we're going to reboil this for 20 minutes for 40 minutes too the, the tea bag after we get all we can out of it we're going to redo it again and then I'm going to put that into a jar and then we're going to take that and we're going to um, put it into the next batch and uh, see if we can't just keep it keep it rolling Now we got it. Now we've got it in here. We got it going. And it's approaching 200 pretty fast. Let's turn it back. Okay. And uh, so we've got that well submerged. We got the temperature about right. I'm going to make sure when I get the temperature right, got to stick here for about four or five minutes to make sure it doesn't keep increasing when I leave out of the room. Um, I used to, in the beginning, I would. I would watch it constantly, but 
now I've got it a little better figured out but I do need to watch it once it gets there you have to watch it for four or five minutes because you might walk out and it might creep up you know two degrees every minute and then before you know it you got a big vigorous boil going and and it might lose some alcohol which is what I hear all right so anyhow um, I'll take this all these clips hopefully I can put together and, and make a video yeah when you when you move this this rubber band back further um, it, it, it doesn't put as much pressure down on it so um, with it when I when I did the first batch I had the rubber band up here and had it real tight on it so it put more pressure on it but I had a lot more water in there but anyhow that's a uh, those things they probably have them at Walmart everywhere you go I'm sure you can find those but they're, they're great for um, because before I used this before I um, use the screen uh, to hold it down in there literally I was uh it wasn't half as dark as it's coming out now and I never dreamed of doing a second batch because it just looked like uh, dirty water but anyhow okay so this whoop. anyhow cord won't reach. I've got this colander on here. And that's what uh, I was just talking away and thought I was recording everything for about 20 minutes. And uh, and I wasn't. So I'll have to take this and patch it together with some other times and maybe make a video out of it. I'll check on that in a minute. I'm wanting between 190 and 200. 195 is fine. I've been getting it to where I could get it to go right at exactly 200 and walk off from it and it just stays like that. With the thermostat on, right here on, right on four and a half. I can't remember if it's slightly over or under. Get right on and see what happens. I have to come back in here and check on it. Pause. All right, it's coming along pretty good. Um, got a little up about ten minutes left, but uh, what I do, you know, I mash it down, get all of the good alkaloids, get all that good stuff out of it. The idea is not to, you know get all this leaf product because if you get the powder instead of these leaves it's um still going to uh, all that's going to be have to go through your system anyhow turn it around I'm, I'm just under 200 degrees pretty much the whole time mash that out and uh let's see see if you can see it Oh, it's looking good. So, 
say. It's about 190, 195. It's okay right there. Someone control this cop. This assault. This is assault. Back up. Flipped it over and squeezed it and we'll put the rubber band back on this to keep it down there. Now I'll be back. Check on it in ten minutes. All right, let's see what we got going on. I heard you. I heard you. Okay, so you got forty-one minutes. All right, let's see what we got going on here. And it, we ended it off at um at about one eighty-five. That's that's fine. Though. That's good enough. I'm not a I'm not a rock scientist. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, so that's that. What am I going to put? Okay. Yes, yes. It's going to be more than that. sugar in this one too and it looks like down to the last drop it got a let's see that's that's four cups and this is a it's like two cups so I got six cups out of eight then here yeah, and so now I'm gonna now I'm going to take the thing again here and I'm going to add about um I mean you got you can't just put one or two cups in there cuz it's it'll be laying on the it'll be frying on the right on the bottom. But anyhow, I'm going to put four cups in it and uh probably get three and a half back out of it now cuz now the bag's saturated and all that and we'll squeeze it into the next load but and these right here that's pretty dark. And this one over here, I've already added the sugar in. Anyhow, um, but I just ate and I took powder earlier today. And, to, and then, so what I'll do, I'll wait another three, four hours after I just ate. And I'll, uh, I'll just drink this the rest of the night and a little bit of powder, like a little bump here or there. But basically, to get a get, uh, chance to clean myself out and off from all that, those, those leaf products. Um, all right. Yeah, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty dark, pretty good color. I did, I got three for four. But anyhow, and it's not quite as dark, see. See, it's, I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but it's a shade dark, lighter. But anyhow, that's definitely some alkaloids in there. Um, and uh, I, I wish there was a way to make this stuff magically taste good where I could drink it all day. As I'd love to, but anyhow, it's worth it, it, it's worth the uh, uh, dealing with the taste. But anyhow, there's a there's so I got nine. That was out of a um, 40 gram bag. I got that out of that. Okay, and actually, I got that that right there came out of a, a, a eight cup brew, brew. Got six cups about, and then um. I'm pretty sure, unless I got these things measured wrong, I might want to double check them one day. But anyhow, because, because then out of four cups, I got three. 
well, on the second plant, but of course the leaves were already saturated and all and didn't absorb a lot of it and and I might have even inherited a little bit of juice to offset the second boil out. But anyhow, so there you go right there and uh, I'll try to get a picture of it when I get a glass in a, another hour or so. Yeah, I think this plastic right here is making that one look a little bit different. This, these, this, all right, there you go. This is apples to apples. Let me get back here. See, there is a difference. It's like Mountain Dew and Coca-Cola. Oh. Oh, yeah. Off. Uh, but yeah, but I tell you what, that right there, you now this one right here, and I, I don't know why I put sugar in it now, because <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it again with the next batch. But um, yeah, this right here, um, I'll drink the rest of this tonight and tomorrow. And um, let's see, and then, uh, and then the day after that, um, I'll probably drink two thirds of that, if not all of it, and then uh, then I'll have a day where I'll do a lot of powder, and I'll just do a little bit of powder during these days, and then I'll start over again. That's when we get when we get to this batch here. Oh crap! All right. Yeah, with that without that light on it. Which I, I, yeah, I can see. I think you can see. Sometimes it's just hard to tell what the cameras. Uh, so even now when I look through this viewfinder back here. So I shouldn't get see today's um what is today? Today is uh yes we and uh it's up here. Get this right here. It's amazing this battery's still running. What happened is, is that I, I, at band practice, I kept it plugged in so much, so long, it just, you know, it's like a cell phone if you overcharge it constantly. But anyhow, so what we got here is we got a, uh, this is the first brew right here. Okay. That's the first full strength brew. And then, and then up there, is the is the rebrew and then of course all right there i'm just going to use the taste it so what did i probably get um i put four cups in the second one, and i expected you know like i got like six out of eight from the first brew where is it at right there for out of the first brew but if but um uh, um this one i only put four cups in and it looks like if i had to guess i wonder if that's a 16 ounce right there or can't hardly tell, but I'm gonna guess that will be 16 ounces. This is stuff comes like that. Um, I, I forgot what kind of jar it was, maybe cherries or something. And then this glass right here, um, I, I imagine that's a 12 ounce glass. So, so it's saying I lost one cup in that, that, um, in out of four and lost two cups out of eight, I guess. But I wouldn't expect to lose as much on the second batch because the um, leaves are already soaked. You know, and and at the end of it, especially if you squeeze them by the time the end comes, you know, what I think is I didn't squeeze them real hard the first time, and that would have been like, you know, six and a half, and then and then that this right here would have been a uh, um, two and a half, you know. But anyhow, oh gee. <laughs> Shadow. Where you at, girl? Oh, there you are over there. You being a good girl? Huh? I see you. I see you over there. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what happened? There you go. Did he sees you? I see you under there, girl. <laughs> there's some powders up there, and there's a and those little um, 
aluminum foil things those are those are a lease that right there is probably about four pounds two kilos of uh which is like four and a half pounds of different powders and then uh of course i got some others here's some um and over here as a there's a uh, half a kilo, which is a little over a pound, and uh, oh, right here, there you go. There's another half a kilo. So, that's, so, so there's a kilo here between these two, and a kilo there, and a kilo there. So that's probably close to seven pounds. And then this right here is um, three or four little 40 gram bags of leaves. But uh, what I was going to show you, this right here. These are different. This is yellow Vietnam, white, um, um, a red Bally, and white Bally maybe or Mang Dai. I, I don't do much green, but now one thing I do, I really do. Oh, this thing right here. One thing I really use a lot of here is these. And what it is, it's crate them with the with the flavor and all you're supposed to make a tea with, but it's powder. And it still gets in your intestines and all you don't want to do that much so what I do this is five grams but the flavor in it is so strong what I do I got this little hundred milliliter cup here I keep by the sink and I rinse it out when I'm through but I don't even go up to 50 milliliters because like 30 milliliters is an ounce but what I do I pull out some kratom whatever blend I'm gonna do and I put this on the scale and I zero it out I don't want to take any more right now because I just took some Anyhow, I hope this is being seen. But anyhow, what I do is I is I put it on here, zero it out, then I take my kratom and I spoon it in and get the and get the uh, weight that I want in there, and then I just take literally like a tenth, like a point point one or a, even a point oh five or something, just barely a little bit of this stuff, because this stuff is that showing up. But anyhow, this stuff is uh the flavor is so strong. I just literally put it on there like salt or something, and I just barely sprinkle it on there. And then I then I go over to the tap water and I've got it running hot and I put in there just like a half an ounce, like um, 15, 20 milligrams. And I stir it like this and get it where it's sort of muddy. And then the reason I do that with the hot tap water is because it, it, it won't hardly blend with cold water. But anyhow, once I get it kind of consistency muddy like um, where, where it's broken down some and it's, and it's actually taking the moisture in, then I go over to my refrigerator door and I just put a quick shoulder in there just so it's not scalding hot and I spin it like that you know and I get it just about how, how, how the consistency I know I like it and I get it a, a little over a, a ounce maybe an ounce and a half maybe 50 milliliters at the most and I and I get it like that and while I, when I got it good and mixed I take it like that and I just shoot it right down and then this flavor right here makes it very uh, doable and then I just rinse this cup out rinse this off put this back in here then I write down how much I took each day <laughs> every time and what time it is and the reason only reason I do that is because you want to take it basically on the empty stomach so you don't have to take as much and also too you know I mean let's talk let's talk for real you know this stuff makes you constipated okay that's a big drawback but uh anyhow this this stuff will make you constipated so that's why I make the tea it's because you don't want all of this all of these uh the powder stuff let's see there's something here well here's a Vietnam or whatever. But anyhow, if you can see it with the light and all, but this powdery stuff here, it's 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 like a nutmeg powder or whatever. But I tell you what it does, it, it dries your stool up. It make and it's a it's a diuretic too. It makes you urinate a lot. So you're already expelling a lot of your body's fluids just naturally by the reaction of it. it natu it's a natural diuretic. On top of that, this absorbs in your intestines, this absorbs a lot of water. And if you don't drink a lot of water and eat a lot of fiber, you will have constipation problems. But, and if you get to where you're taking like, you know, 20, 25 grams of this stuff a day, and, uh, and it starts giving you really bad problems, you're looking for a solution. Well, what I do is that now the tea, I'm going to admit it to you. I'll be the first to admit it to you. It tastes horrible. It always does. A lot of people say they get used to it. It tastes horrible. When I take the tea, I take eight ounces at a time. I basically, I just gulp it all down get it over with then get me a cup of coffee or coke or mountain dew or whatever i don't savor drinking it but i like to drink it because when i do that i don't have to take as much of this into my system 
and you don't have to take all of that into your system and worry about it. So um, anyhow, that's why I'm making this video. But what I do is I subsidize. And now also too, I I get it. Um, I order it all from. Uh, now this is my leaf. I get my powder from different people at different times. Buracorn.com, and it's overseas. I mean, this guy he is a. Uh, Literally in Bangkok, you know, for, for all I know, he's growing it in his yard or whatever, or getting it from his neighbor's yard, whatever. They're getting it fresh, and then he freeze dries it because they're not allowed to ship it over. And I'm sure in another video I've done this, but I showed you, uh, you know, it comes in, it comes in a, a, a sealed up bag like this with pretty much most of the air out of it. This one's really tight. A lot of them I've seen were kind of loose, but they generally they're pretty tight. Yeah, they're pretty tight. But, uh, and this last time he sent me some, some tea bags, which I, you'll probably see in some of the videos, but uh, which was very helpful when it came to, to separating the, the leaf material. And, um, but anyhow, that's, that's why I take the tea. And uh, but here's the thing. I don't really like the taste of either one of them, but I like the effects of both of them. So what I do is I subsidize it. I take this and I take that, you know, if I, I'll make a um, I'll make a liter of that or two liters, whatever eight cups is. I make set bit. I usually wind up with about seven cups by the time it's it's all cooked out. But I, you know I have six seven cups, and I'll just I'll use that to subsidize the power for like powder for like two or three days, and then if I'm lazy I'll go one day up with just powder, and then I'll make the tea again. Or if I'm not lazy I'll make it right away. But but anyhow that's that's why I take it. But if, if you're gonna if you want to try the leaf, go ahead and try it. Try it from Bangkok, you know, instead of one of these American vendors. But it's a pretty good product, and it'll help him out, you know. Um, and um, and the guy's name is Eugene, and he's a really nice fellow. You can trust him. You can order from him with confidence and not have to worry about it. Um, but anyhow, all right. Does that get does that get shadows approval? Huh? Does that that get a little tutti frutti's approval?